Hi, Will for Sound on Sound here at the AES convention in New York with none other than Jonathan Pines of Rupert Neve Designs. Jonathan, hey, what have well, you got? It's a pleasure to see you guys as always. I'm always, I love talking to SOS because it is the truly international audio magazine for the audio community. Today what we want to show you is a brand new compressor from Rupert Neve. We have the 535 500 series compressor. This is the first 500 series dial bridge compressor and the first dial bridge compressor that Rupert has made in over 40 years. Wow, and that's quite a claim. Why is the dial bridge important? Why is this interesting? Dial bridge has certain saturation characteristics. They give it a characteristic vibe or weight or heft. It has to do with the nonlinearities of the performance of the dial bridge itself. The harder you drive it, it ends up with low frequency uh, harmonics. So hence you get the weight or size um, that people associate with the classic products. Um, we've done some really cool things in this. Uh, of course, we have threshold. We have multiple attack and release times. And we have a doubler switch here. Um, so one of the things that Rupert was able to do with the 535 design is make the time constants much faster than the classic. So a little bit more usable or a little bit more options for the engineer on how to use it. In other words, uh, the classic either ha uh, had an attack time of approximately 100 milliseconds. This will go well under one microsecond. So think FET compressor speeds. Um, a lot more options in terms of what you want for tone. Um, there's, of course, a bunch of different ratios. We have a link switch on the front panel. Um, we have parallel compression built right in. So why is that helpful? Because when you're doing a lot of heavy compression, you sometimes you want to bring a little bit of the life back in or a little bit of the uncompressed sound, let it peek through to be able to do that. You don't have to set up busing. You don't have to do a bunch of stuff. It's right on the front panel. Um, one of the things that we also particularly like about the sound of a diode bridge compressor is the way it attacks some of the classic things it's used for. Drums, percussion, bass guitar, electric guitar. And oddly enough, vocals are another great thing for that. Um, it's a great way to pop a vocal out through. These are the things that people look back to the 2254E uh, for. And this is the first time that Rupert has done a diode bridge compressor since those classics. One of the things that allows us to make a change with the uh, time release constants um, is the fact that it's a full rectification. Um, instead of partial rectification for the actual dial bridge itself. So what does that mean and for the sound? What that allows us to do is also lower noise quite a bit. Okay. Um, that's one of the only criticisms you might have of one of more classic pieces is the noise and or frequency response. We're able to be, make a wider bandwidth device with significantly more, or sorry, significantly less noise and way more flexible time constants. Wow, so that's a pretty comprehensive rundown then. These are mono units then, and stereo linkable. Yes, they're stereo linkable. Uh, link switches on the front panel. Uh, they're available and shipping now. Their street price is $995. Okay, perfect. Thanks very much, Jonathan. Thank you, as always.